speak about it. some special, more special topic about time persistence. But to just have one look at this example and then we go for that theory. That is a very that's an important example. So we have three, four players. One, two, three, four. Each one can choose two alternatives. A or B. A or B. A. Similar to the examples which I had before, but the, the payoffs are different. The payoffs are different. Here, if the first player chooses D, he gets five. The other players get zero. The, 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 the game finished. If the second chooses D, he gets five. They, they are the zero and so on. But if they all come in, they all okay. We see that the, uh, the comparative trajectory which maximizes the sum of the payoffs is this one. So the sum is equal to 12, which is more for uh, any other trajectory to give only 5. So this is the comparative trajectory. The, how they, they have to behave this way to get the maximum amount of payoffs. But this trajectory is not stable in strategic sense. This cooperation is not stable because, because the player one is not much interested in this, in the payoff at the end, because he can go to the right and get five. He's not, he's not interested in cooperation. In the same way, if player one, one choose A, player two can always go to, to the right and get five. But here he, he, he never will get five by this cooperation, and so on. So, so we see a very unstable situation. The cooperation is unstable, which is uh, hope ha uh, happened very often. Now, now, how to do? What to do to make this cooperation stable? Well, how to organize payments to the players so that they will be interested to follow this cooperation trajectory? This is a very important task, also from practical point of view. How to encourage people to cooperate? You see that it is. But it, so the, the, this example is, of course, special, but in general, in general, unfortunately, cooperation is not supported strategic strategy. One wants always to give in, uh, as in the game of, um, as in this prison dilemma game. It's the same thing. They, they always want to do. But but if in the prison dilemma case, the sol we don't, the solution is very difficult to go out. How to go out from this situation? But in the games with perfect information, it is possible to make some some stage payments so that the cooperation will be stable. But, uh, uh, yes? Then those, uh, the payer one, if, if he choose D, D. then D. it is a certain, cert, certain outcome. Yes, but five. He gets five. Yes, and five. But, also. but if, if he, uh, uh, the payer choose A, A, that is uncertain. Uncertain, yeah. But he can't get zero because yeah. the others don't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's uncertain. But, so the cooperative behavior, is not stable. No one is interested in cooperation. But at the end, they get a good result. So they get three, three, three. And this is the problem. The problem how to encourage them to cooperate. This is the time persistent. It's very, this is a very serious problem. Uh, not only in KFA, but in a real life situation. Now, to come to the, I, I will come back to this example. But first, I want to explain the main, the problem of time persistence. So. So suppose we have the system of differential equations. These are controlled equations. So x is state variable, u is controlled. x, that point, is a, a velocity, yes? So at each, I, I don't know, we, the, you, all, you know differential equations, so not probably, so. You are familiar with differential equations? Not much. OK, I'll try to explain what does it mean. So at each time, so, this is the called controlled differential equations. So at each time instant, uh, being in, in state x, x is the state, uh, the position. Uh, the play, the, the, there is, here we have only one player. The player selects some control, where to go. And then the, his motion is governed by this differential equation. So for instance, if I am a player, x is my position, I'm staying here, yes? I am finding the control, go to the right, or go to the right, and so on. So using this controller can come to some points, yes? In the same way, the cars, the rockets, and so on, they, they, they have some control systems. Using different controls, they, they can move and come to some point. So the, suppose that the, the whole process takes the time t big, the whole the time t, t big. Then, then this, is the, uh, this is the set where, where this point, the, oh, oh, 
I said, well, can, come, can be exactly a time thing. So where I can be exactly a time thing. Look, for instance, now I am staying here, where I can be after two hours, using my controls, going somewhere. This is the, 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 the some region of Hong Kong, some sub-region, where I can be exactly a time thing after two hours. So this, this is called reachability set. Now suppose we have the following problem. We want to be ask, ask my, there is some point M, the aim point, our aim. We want to come as close as possible to this point, yes? Now, now how, to, uh, how to find this optimal way of behavior? Uh, how, to, to, how to come as close as possible? We, we look on this reachability set and find the point M dash which is the closest to M. And we just come to this point. So this red trajectory is our optimal trajectory. Who, come, who brings us to the point M dash, which is very close to M, with the closest to M. This is our optimal trajectory. Now, what is here inter interesting? So, if I start to move along this trajectory in direction of the point M, actually to the point M dash, and in some, if, in some intermediate instant of time, I will recalculate my behavior. So I would, uh, maybe I'm not sure that I'm going in correct way. I'm not sure that this is the best way. I'm recomputing re 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 my optimal behavior, yes? It, it happens that my optimal the, 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 this the rest of, of this trajectory will be also optimal. So what I have to do just to continue. This is the optimal outcome. So this, this, is, called, this is time consistency. So at each time instant, if I, if I try to, to solve the problem being on this trajectory, to solve the problem to come as close as possible to this point, then I will get a solution the rest of my trajectory. Yes. And, but uh, this is very trivial, more or less trivial. So if I go from here, say, suppose the, 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 I want to go to my hotel, yes? And, but, but, but I have some, not the whole time, I have, say, 20 minutes only. So first I go to the point which is the closest to my hotel, where, uh, uh, using in, in this time, yes? If, if I passed already 10 minutes on this way, and I'm recalculating my behavior, where I have to go, I will go to the same place. This is the best way. I must not choose any other direction. But also this time consistency. So that is my behavior is time consistent. So any recalculation, any 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 control of whether I'm doing correct or not will give me the answer I am correct because I am this trajectory. But but there can be also another thing. For instance, it can happen that in some point there will is also another way to this M dash. Also, which gives the same the same time. I mean, with the, which takes the same time exactly. For instance, maybe after after say ten minutes walking, I, I come to the point where there are two different ways to my hotel, which have give the same the same time. They, they both are optimal. They, then 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 I can of course continue this way also. And this is this will be also optimal. So that means that if here I find I would say optimal prolongation of my behavior together with my previous one, this would also optimal. This is a good strong time consistency. So any optimal prolongation starting on the initial point of my optimal trajectory with the previous one gives also optimal prolongation. This is strong time consistency. So this happens this happens when we have not game theoretical, but just one control problem. If there is one player I am one player, and what I want is to minimize the distance between myself and some point M. So if everything depends upon myself only, then everything is time consistent, even the strong time consistent. Now, consider the, the, some more, more complicated problem. Everything is the same, but I don't want to be as, as close to one point. There are three points in which I'm interested. So I, will, so I have, to, say, half an hour time, and, but I want to be more close to some region of Hong Kong, my hotel only. 
with I want to be close to my hotel to say some museum, Hong Kong museum or some other church. This suppose this. Then then um, uh, the solution is not so easy. Then there, there is no unique solution. There is so called Pareto optimal solution. So the mathematical theory says me that I have to behave the following way. I I draw the, this triangle, so this is the convex hull of this point, and make a projection of this hull over this regiment itself. And over this, this red line, this red line, this red line, this red line, yes, this red line, is the set of so-called Pareto optimal points. That means uh, these points are the best in the sense that there are no better ones which are closer to all three points together. So I, if I take any other point, this another point uh, is at least worse for one of these for, for one of these points. So the, 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 the set of these points have the have this property that there doesn't exist any other point where I have to go which is better off for all these three points together. This is the called Pareto optimal set. It's clear that this is a good outcome because, because I want to be close to all these points. So if I come somewhere here, then I'll be very far away from M3. And suppose I choose some Pareto optimal outcome and I'm going in this direction to this Pareto optimal point. Yes. Then uh, also it is easily seen on this that if I, after some time I want to recalculate my behavior, I ask myself whether I'm going correct or not. Then this, the rest of my trajectory, will bring me also to Pareto optimal. Point. So in this sense, it is optimal. So I, I, I will not do mistakes. So if I continue in the same way, then I will get to the same Pareto optimal point, who is the, for me acceptable. Yes. But another thing is happening. The, the, you see, after because the time already passed, some time, say two hours, I passed already. And I have only one hour left. Then my possibilities are less for this one hour. I'm so I have three hours to go. I've spent already two hours. Only two, one hour remains. In one hour, I can I cannot be any any place because I already passed two hours. So I can be also in this subset. Only. That my reachability set changed. So it's a bit, if you are just born, you have. Huge reach with this set. Yeah, 70 years before you. But I myself am 75. So my reach with this set is much, much, much less. So I have less possibilities. And if I try to, to compute the, the Pareto optimal set in this, for, this smaller, for this smaller set, I think this, this set will be different. It's the same projection of this triangle, but over this smaller set. So this is the new set, M dash, M2 dash. Of course, the, the, they had one common point in common. So if I continue, I, I will see it still by it. But we find here another optimal outcomes, we, which are optimal in the same sense. The all points which lie of M dash, M2 dash, they all will be optimal. And then I can say myself, but then why, am, why I have to go here? Better I go here. Why? So I have the incentive to change my way. Because these points they are in some sense e equal from the point of from point of view optimal. Of course, because if 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 I am one person going, yes, but maybe maybe the time passed, maybe maybe this way is very long. Maybe if this way is two hundred years, for instance. Yes? After ten, one, after one hundred years, I am not going. My son is going. Somebody else, else is going. And he didn't care what how I before I calculated. He said, "Why I want to come here? I can change." So this is some inconsistency. But so this solution is time consistent, but is not strongly time consistent because the optimal continuation with the previous way together doesn't give optimal solution in the big problem. This is the difference between the previous case. In the previous case. If I change here to some other optimal behavior, altogether will be optimal in the big problem. But here, when I change to local optimal behavior, then the comparison.
compound behavior is not optimal in a big model. So I lose strong metallic consistency. This is a very serious thing. Although there is only one player here, and this is not a game, this is not, still not a game. But the problem started when we have many objectives. If, if we have many objectives, objectives in dynamic, in dynamic process, then we cannot be sure that the decision which we have taken in the beginning will remain always in power. It will, it will remain optimal, but the, we, may find, we, may, we may find another optimal uh, uh, decisions. And we can switch them because it, it's difficult to explain why we have to follow the, the previous decision. So we lose strong metallic resistance. From, in the real life situation, it happens very often. If you have long range plans or it's development plans or some, uh, something like that, 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 that the usual, it happens that after some time, the recalculator said, no, no, the, the, the previous solution was not correct, let's go here. But this, this mathematically can be proved that this always happens. This always happens. This doesn't depend upon anything, upon other things, that's all. But because of the structure of the problem. So if you have many, if you have many criteria, if you have many multi criteria problem, then always, then always you may have incentive to deviate from your previous decision. But, it, but, but, but the decision is still optimal. But you can be find another optimal decision, and you have no, you cannot explain well why you have to follow the previous one. It's also. But the situation is much more complicated if we have game, game, game theoretical situation. Unfortunately, this is a very com complicated um, uh, setting. This differential game. Now, so in game theoretics, in games, this, this the motion, the motion of of the, the of the state variable, the motion state depends not upon doesn't depend upon one player, depends upon n different players. So I'm not the only man, the only person who define the motion. There are also others who who have to at each time instance we have to coordinate. For instance, uh, 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 there is a famous tale of La Fontaine. Uh, La Fontaine. Um, the, uh, when there is a, there is a, a car, a car, a car, and um, the the bird wants to take the car in the sky. The, the another wants to take it on the ground. The another in. Uh, over the surface, eh? in three different directions. There are three players, they move this, they will move this guy. So you have three players, and, they, and this is actually the problem of the financial game. So in this case, we, one player cannot control, many players control. So if, if it is, or, or in, in, real, in a real life situation, maybe the, what is it, the, the evolution of the city of Hong Kong or San Petersburg depends not, not only upon one person. There are many, uh, many different institutions who decide what to do. Yes? Where to invest money and so on. And this is not one person deciding. There are many persons deciding. Yes? So it's a multi, multi person game. So, so the motion of the city, the, the development of the city depends upon the solution of many persons. So this is a uh, differential game. And this is very, this, that's why it's a very difficult situation. So if we if we consider the same the same uh, the previous picture, but taking in account that this motion doesn't this motion doesn't control by one person but by many persons. Yes, if we have U1, U2, also we have the same this the same C, the same uh, the set of uh, the same set of possible points where we can go. But but but. The, to find the best solution, solution now is not so easy because each each of the players have his own have his own aim. What's here? What was it? Chess. No, here, for instance, if here we have suppose 
we have we are not one, we are three players. One player wants to be to come as close to Bosma to this point, another player to this, another player to this point. Then the, 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 what I told you is of course we can't parate optimal solution, but 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 uh, this is not game theoretical outcome. There are different ways how to find the best solution. One of them is so-called Nash bargaining solution. Nash bargaining solution. To find this point where to go, we have to, we have to solve some mathematical problem, which is quite complicated. I, I will write here. So, it's quite complicated. We have to find the maximum of this, maximum, maximum of this um, product. Maximum of this product. So, this is the so-called status quo point, the point which can be guaranteed by one player, independent of the other agreed. And this is the payoff, the payoff of single player. So uh, the Nash said that it is necessary to find such point which maximize this product. This will be Pareto optimal point. This, it, this will be, uh, it can be proved that this will be the maximum, well, maybe it will be this point. This will be, uh, if we calculate this, the, the, as Nash Bakini will have right, maybe this will be this point. Maybe some other point. But this will be the point of Pareto optimal project. Now, suppose we we decide. We decide that we we have to go to this point. This point be x to dash. This is the point which we have calculated according to Nash bargaining solution. Then some some time passed. Some time passed, and we ask the players ask us, are, are we are we going in correct way or not? Let's calculate once more. Where is our Nash bargaining point? One said, you, you betrayed me, we are not going correct. But always one person says, I don't, I don't agree, I don't uh, uh, be with you. Let's come to the judge and <laughs> compute once more. Are we going correct or not? Then we have to compute the same Pareto product, but for the sub game, for the game which starts on this, uh, on this, on this point. So, so, so we are somewhere here, and we have to, to know where we are going to correct or not to, to find the current Nash bargaining outcome, current, in this sub-problem, this sub-game. We have to compute this, uh, this Nash bargaining solution for this smaller problem, because we less, time, le, 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 less time remains, and the initial position is also different. But, but then the formula, if we look on the formula, the formula is this, we have to maximize this. But the formula is different, because here we have x0, here we have xt. Mathematically, there are different, different numbers, there are different numbers. Here we have the whole set on which you are maximizing, here we have only the subset, which is, we have only, only this smaller subset. So this is quite mathematically different problems. Different, there, are, there are different functions these different functions. And the maximum of this function is in different point, always. So this is a very important outcome, very, very, very important conclusion that, that if we, if we try to, uh, if we would like to uh, re, uh, uh, recalculate our solution in, in some intermediate point, if we shall recalculate our solution, Nash bargaining, we shall find always different, always different outcome. Always we shall find, at each moment we shall find different outcome. So this trajectory will be never open. So in the beginning we have to go this way, then at this moment, no, we have to go here. Then we have to go here. And this is just mathematical fact. This is very serious. That means that, that this time inconsistency, time inconsistency. So the optimal trajectory is time inconsistent. So at each time instant, one of players can say, please, let, let's recalculate, and you will be right. The result will be different. The very serious consequence in practice. That means in practical life, if you have, if you decide to do something, if many persons decide to do something, on a long time period, then independent of anything, independent of anything, if you will, if after some time you you 
want to be you, you you want to know are you going in the correct way or not you will get that you are not not going in correct way always you, sh you should say have this answer this is very serious consequence time inconsistency so in by cooperation it's usual this way because the cooperation now the, how to go out from this is a difficult task. We have the David paper about this. But this difficult task. But it's a bit, a little bit easier. This game, this game is the game with so-called non-transferable payoffs. Because the payoff is a distance. Each one we want to be as close as possible. We cannot transfer payoffs. I cannot transfer payoff. Transferable payoff is the payoff when the payoff is money. I can't, we can interchange the payoffs. So it's a, Payoff can be taken from one player, given to another player. But here we can we can distance, interchange distances. This is this answer. So this is a very serious problem. Now, if if we come to more more uh, more classical classical differential game games, there's something we can do. So so suppose we have this differential game, this x dash x point. If the payoff is the in such integral, which depends upon our trajectory, is the this general setting. And consider the cooperative form of this game, as I uh, told you on the previous, on the, on the first lecture, the cooperation means that the players behave in such a way to maximize the sum of the payoffs. So this is the payoff, and they maximize the sum of the payoff, per payoffs. This is the so called cooperative outcome. Cooperative outcome. And Okay, well, at least, at least I will skip this. Yes, yes, yes. The important thing is the so-called the notion of imputation. So, in, if players cooperate, the max, they get this maximal payoff, maximum payoff, this VN, this maximal payoff, which they get, and they have to distribute between them. So, CI is the is the value which player I has to get. So to to make to make it in optimal way, there are different ways of uh, different definitions. The, one of them is Shapley value, which I already shows how to how to divide this uh, between players. But for this reason, we need this so-called characteristic function. We need to uh, to uh, define the power of coalition. For this reason, we we have to introduce so-called characteristic function. But this is uh, she has got Yes, characteristic function, which shows the value of the power of coalition. It, it can be introduced in different ways. There are different ways of introducing the function. And, and um, the, as I, as I uh, have shown, using this characteristic function, we, we can write uh, down the formula for, for Shapley value. I, I write once more Shapley value because it is important. So each player has to get this amount. can be easily seen that the sum of these shapeless is equal exactly to this maximum payoff which they get. So uh, as I already mentioned that what does it mean? That this is some some average average these are probabilities, some average impact which player can player I can do in coalition S. So if coalition S is four, uh, this is the 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 best payoff the coalition can guarantee himself, coalition S, the subset of players, can guarantee himself with player I and without player I. That is what, what player I gives to the coalition. coalition. And the, the, this average uh, average amount is what player, the, uh, shows the power of player I, how much he gives to the, in average to every coalition. So, Shepley said, each one has to get this amount, to divide according to this formula. Now, suppose we we use this as a solution with the, we use uh, shared value. Yes. 
Now, what happens? What happens? If we mm, Um, we have found the optimal trajectory which maximizes the sum of the payoffs. This is our optimal trajectory which maximizes the sum of the payoffs. It's x dash t. T belongs t0 t. I would say the best way of, of development. Yes, we have this trajectory. Now, I suppose we start going along this trajectory, maybe maybe t big, maybe 20 years. Uh, if it's the de development of the of Hong Kong or development of St. Petersburg or development of some country, this of course is long range plan. So now consider some intermediate time instant. And in this intermediate time instant we know that each one of, we are oriented on the Shapley value. We know that we have to get this amount. Let's compute once more the Shapley value for this intermediate time instant. And this happened as this Shapley value will always change from time to time. So in the beginning we are oriented on one value, after some time we, say we are waiting another value, and so on. So this is completely inconsistent. So before we, before we decided to cooperate, we, of course, we cooperate because we know that we have a fair distribution. Of, of result, fair distribution given by Shapley value. So I know myself that I will get, say, $10 billion and myself. If I have some company which is constructed something in Hong Kong or somewhere else, I will get this investment. I know from the beginning, from this, for, for this, from the beginning of this period. But after some time, if we recalculate the situation, I, I found out that no, I'm not, not going to have a million, I'm going only to $2 billion. And this will happen, always will happen. This is very, this is very unusual and very bad things for planning, you see. So each company, uh, uh, each, if, if the payments will be done at the end of the process, each company at the intermediate time will see that he, 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 is, he will not get what it was um, uh, planned before. And then they will say, why am I cooperating? We, we have the same thing. I uh, can call it a practical example. We have the Soviet Union built the Aswan Dam, if you know, uh, for Egypt. The Aswan Dam, electric, big electric station. We paid, uh, well, it was about 20 million, 20 billion dollars cost this dam. And uh, it, the, the construction was 15 years, 15 years. And the, according to the contract, we had to pay, get the money at the end. But after that, this was built, Egypt said, I will not give any money. Why? Because, because it's the, the, the contract was tight inconsistent. At the beginning, yes, of course. But after, it, after everything is done, if they calculate once more, they, don't, they must not give anything. And the Soviet Union gets no money. But we got some Egyptian shoes in some things. Nobody, nobody was buying their that shoes. So, so every contract which is oriented on which the payments will be made at the end will never never be realized in the form we must be sure because because the, what was what was proposed at the beginning will be not at the end because these values will these values this 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 VS is the power of coalition. If I already, if I already build the house up down, my value of coalition is zero. I have no power. My power was, if you don't pay, I will not build. But how I build over it? And, and this is this is mathematically proved that it's always the case. Now, how to go out of this problem? So we suppose the so-called this is our invention. So called imputation distribution condition IDP. So suppose this is the the Shapley value, the amount which I have to get. I introduce the new control variable, beta. Beta is the so the, the instantaneous payment at each moment. So I I think that I do that the payment has to be made at each time instant. 
not at the end of the process. But it is. But how? How it must be made? So it has it, the the procedure is the following. So, so suppose I am getting some payment at each time. Moment. Every player gets some income. Yes. Then till moment t, this is this income they get. Till moment t. Yes. Yes. Then the rest is what the rest which they have to get is this one. So this was in the beginning, plot in the beginning. This is till moment t. This is difference is the rest. So this rest must be optimal in the same sense as before. So this this must be equal to shape value. So the, this difference, the, the, the amount which I have to get, must be optimal in the same sense as the previous. Then everything will work. Here. Then everything will become consistent. So in the case of this also I've done, it must be done the following way. Uh, the, by the, the payments have to be made at each year, not at the end, at each year. And uh, according to what was done, it's clear, everyone, everyone understands, but the government didn't understand, that's why they, they lost the money. So that the, 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 uh, this, the, previous, uh, the previous income will remain in, 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 in place, so the, the whole, the, we get all we put, suppose, and at each time instant is time consistent. So what remains is, what remains to get is optimal in the same sense as the previous. This is, this is, this, this, um, practically in real life we have this equation. If you get salary every month, you get salary, it's something like that. You get salary, but of course this salary is always the same. And is, is not necessarily optimal. So this is some very primitive way of, of uh, keeping time consistency. You generally have to pay the same, the same, everyone the same. But you have to pay according to the possibility of the person. According to, to for instance, if in the beginning, in the beginning, so the, you are, but now you are doing this way. So there is a, a distinguished professor, the usual professor, assistant, and so on. Yes? He has published so many papers, so many, and, According to this, they get the, the, the contract, say for five years, contract. But, but the, by today's rules, the payment is made the same every month. But you have to, you have to update. After one month, you see how is, what are the results. And according to this, you, may, you, you change the payments. Of course, the sum will be the same, but, but, but the, the stage payments have to be changed. So that the, the persons will be interested, interested to fulfill the obligations which they have given at the beginning when they signed the contract. So this is the, uh, the basic idea of time consistency. Now, this, so these betas are this, uh, this there are these uh, uh, stage payments, but uh, instantaneous payments because this this is continuous time. So it's that, but, but even in multi-stage game, this is the stage payment. Now, but also this PITAS allows us to come to the first problem, which was just at the beginning. So the problem of this game, which I, I said that in the beginning, I said that, that we have no possibility to, 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 follow this cooperative trajectory because each player for each player is better to the league. But but actually this system of payments make as possible also here to encourage people to cooperate. Now I will show how it is happening. So if we consider this big game, then we can find the Shepley value is for this big game, this one Shepley value. And after one stage in the sub game the Shepler, you see, the Shepler is already different, already different. Then in, in the next sub game is different. At, at the end is different. And at the end point is just 3, 3, 3. Now, introduce these betas. These betas are stage payments. These are different difference between Shepler values. So if we pay at each time if we pay at each time instant these amounts, so player one gets first six to over twelve, then here he pays someone, he pays and he pays. Then he so this some stage payments. 
If we make these stage payments, then, then, first of all, we get time to assist as the shape value because the, because uh, if we pay already this, if we make this payment, then the rest, the sum of these elements will be exactly shape value in the sub game. If we pay these two sums, then the sum of this will be shape value in the next sub game, and so on. So this time consistency, uh, this time consistency, but we have to pay something. Sometimes we have to, we have to take money out for that. But now, if we consider some, this some, some, uh, uh, some uh, changes in our game. Suppose that we make the consider the new game, the new game. The, the, these payments are the same. These are the same. But on the in the first stage, player one. If uh, gets so players get this amount uh, on each in each vertex, the players co correspondingly get this amount on each stage. Suppose this some change. They, these are these beaters. These are differences of differences of shape events. So suppose they get this amount. Then it can be proved. It can be proved that in this game, this trajectory, this a a a will be Nash equilibrium. This can be proved. This very, this very non-trivial, non-trivial result, because because if uh, the, the, the the Nash strategies here have the following structure, so if one of players said no, he uh, deviates, then the other player will punish him, and he will get less than at the end. So if um, but but all, the only thing is that the payments must be made on this on this trajectory, so not 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 exactly at this point, but on this. On this line, yes. So if player two, player two, have seen that player one, player two sees, uh, yes. So you see here. So um, these these are the. The the, shape, the 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 payoffs of the players are in the shape in the shape setting. So if if the game continues like this, then the first player gets this amount, 62 over 12 plus 7 over 12 minus 5 and so on. He gets this amount, if, which is more than five when he deviates. Is more than five. Also. The second player, if the game continues, gets this amount, which is the value, the shape value, which is more than five. So, so if, if, for instance, the first player will not follow cooperation, then the second player will punish him by changing his strategy, and he will get zero. So you can always punish him if he don't follow. If he, if, but if he just changed, he already gets only five, but he gets more. But, uh, but, uh, but also he can be punished. Then he can always get, get not only five, but he can get also, also zero if, you, if another player will see. So this will be Nash equilibrium. Then you have, if you catch this, yes? So this is a new result, actually. You see, if, if the first player here deviates, he gets only five. But if he continues, he gets the sum of these elements, yes, which is more than five. So for him, it's not good to, to deviate. If the second player deviates, he gets only five. But if he continues, he gets more than five, and so on. So the, this means that in, in this case, we can prove consistency. Not only consistency, but we, we construct the Nash equilibrium, which, uh, which guarantees the which guarantees the cooperative outcome. So this is the result. How to how to guarantee the cooperation? In the sub games. This is what I wanted to tell about stack consistency. So the, the main result is that the cooperative solutions are time consistent and only by using the new procedure of stage payments we can make them time consistent.
and this procedure is not trivial. It's a difference between uh, difference between Shapley values of a different solution concept. Yes. And the second, we have the we have the mechanism how to guarantee the cooperation, how to strategically guarantee the cooperation. 